Living Darshan, a local nonprofit, is looking to increase autism awareness here in the Low Country, and it's also looking to build a place where those people can feel safe. Ray Reina talked with the co-founder earlier today and joins us now here in the studio. So, Ray, Dr. Melinda Edwards says she started this organization after her daughter was diagnosed with autism. Yeah, and it's a personal experience. She had her daughter, and then she turned a year old she was diagnosed with autism and she says they want to build a residential community center somewhere in the greater Charleston area to help serve adults with autism now Edwards is nonprofit living Darshan is looking for land on Johns and Wadmala Islands to build the center they say they want to offer long-term housing for people with autism initial plans call for four separate homes to house four separate people plus room for an additional house manager who would provide support according to a CDC report from 2020, around 1 in 36 children have been diagnosed with autism. Edward says there's currently no housing available on the market locally that caters solely to the people on the autism spectrum. It's an issue that she says will only continue growing. And I know that for all of us parents with children or young adults on the <sighs> spectrum, one of our biggest fears is where will, will our children live? Who will support them when we're gone? So there's a tremendous need for it. Edward says the community center and housing will likely cost several million dollars to build. She says they're still a few years away from accomplishing their goal. And 